Hello everybody and welcome back to Thornton Farm. As you can see, we've got two John Deere's now working in this field, burning diesel. I've been going for, I think, about half an hour in real time. And yeah, initially I wasn't going to use the windrower to do this because I thought I might be able to get away with it. But because it was so hard to find a tractor which was a suitable horsepower to pull this baler, it was just taking forever to do. So joining two of the swaths together really does speed up the process. Now, um, yeah, this tractor is a uh, 7930, which is quite a big tractor. I think it's 700, uh, no, yeah, that would be big. 700 horsepower, no, 290, I think. That's at least what it said on the mod description. And to be honest, even that is struggling with the baler. So I don't really know what I can put on there. But that is rented. Uh, it's costing £8,000 per day. We've got it for one day. But yeah, it's doing okay. As soon as it hits an incline, it goes to about 4 or 5 miles per hour, but downhill it can do about 11. So, hmm, it's okay. It could be better. But yeah, we're going to continue here. I've done most of the field off screen. I didn't really want to, you know, uh, do the whole field in a video, because it's going to get repetitive. But as you can see, we have quite a lot of bales here. We will jump into the 7930 and have a look to see how many we actually have. Right, here it is. Let's switch off the windrower. We will quickly jump out and just have a look and see. It's doing okay now. The speed is not too bad. Uh, it's done, in this field, 67 bales, which is very impressive. But yeah, there we go. We've been using this tractor for 27 minutes, so not too long. In the end, it hasn't taken very long, but it would have done. In fact, I think we've probably speeded up the process by 100%. So yes, anyway, the plan today is to get this finished, and it's not going to take too much longer. Uh, most of it will be off screen anyway. We'll then leave the bales to one side, because I don't really want to be messing with them anymore in the next few episodes because we need to move on to some other stuff uh, so we'll, we'll collect these up probably in four or five episodes time and yeah in the meantime we're going to be doing some other jobs now one thing we're going to be definitely doing today is the fruit and berry mod which is something I've been looking forward to doing you will remember if you watched my previous videos the pear and apple mod which I've put in field number 39 which you are right it is the vehicle reset point but it's okay because where I've actually put the trees um, I think that is only the overflow area if you have loads of vehicles reset so we should be okay but obviously it's not ideal so I will have to find a different place for the fruit and berry mod but the idea is essentially very similar So that is us pretty much done. There is the tractor close up. It's a good tractor, I have used it before. And obviously a very good baler too. I thought instead of using the New Holland T8, we would go for a John Deere because, you know, I tend to use that one quite a bit and I like to keep similar makes of tractors. So if we have all John Deere or all Matty Ferguson, it tends to work a bit better than having one of each different type of tractor. There's the jet. So there we go, just finishing off myself because we don't really want to be paying the worker to do what we can do ourselves. Um, and yeah, I think the field looks pretty good. I always love to see a, a recently harvested field full of bales, it always looks good. But we've got a tiny bit left here. Whenever you get to a corner, it always becomes a lot more difficult. And I don't think we're going to hit 100 bales. That would be brilliant, but no. It's just going to be slightly short of that. Obviously, we will unload the baler, which will essentially add another bale, as it does do. going to be, by the look of it, 95. 
but it's hard to say. Right, okay. Let's unload. Yes. 95 bales, five short of 100. I think that's pretty good. Anyway, let's get all this folded up and return to the yard. We'll keep the tractor because we've only used it for 40 minutes. I mustn't let it overrun though. And then we will be working on the fruit and berry mod. They're very good tractors, so these. At least that is a big job out of the way. Field 11, which is this field, has been, where well you can see looking at the minimap, it was clearly going to be a big job, especially with the small harvester we have and the low powered tractors. But at least it's done. All we have to do now is clear the bales and then reseed it. I think putting it in here would be the best option. We've got quite a big open fronted shed there. So that should do for the 7530. I get so mixed up with these modern numbers. We'll turn the engine off and put the handbrake on. Oh, I have had quite a few questions regarding drive control. And the most common one is how do you turn off the handbrake? Basically, you have to press control, left control, and spacebar. That is the default key. That is how you put the handbrake on and off. And that should be okay in here. Brilliant. So yeah, on to the berry and fruit mod. We're going to jump into the pickup, uh, which I'm going to be replacing with a quad bike. I think a quad bike would really fit in well on this map. Uh, I've had a lot of requests to use like Land Rovers and stuff, but I think something like a, a quad bike would be good. I don't usually use them, in fact I very rarely use them. Right then, chickens, <laughs> let's all uh, move out the way. Oh, look at this one. Crashed right into its rump. Okay, so, uh, the best field for this, I'm not really too sure. So we're going to have to do a bit of a hunt for the best one. Uh, this one up here is the best, it's just that is the reset field, which is a bit of an issue. I think if you reset a vehicle, it will appear sort of here in front of the trees. So having the pears and the apples back there is no issue at all. But we can't obviously spread further forward. So we do need to find another place and that might mean buying a field. But fields are not exactly cheap. So we're going to have to find you know, a, a low value grass field. Field number three just across the road might be good but I can't really judge how big that field is. Obviously if it's really big, it'd be really expensive. But it's worth having a look. If I know how to get to it. Yes, just here. Yeah, it's quite a big field that. So I'd have thought it'd be pretty expensive but we will at least have a look yes 28,000 pounds which would pretty much put us into debt just looking at the minimap to see if there's anything a bit more affordable and field number 18 17 21 possibly 16 are all much smaller fields so I think if we go down to that bottom area of the map we might find a better deal so we shut the gate again, get back, get back into our pickup and spin around somewhere. I should have turned around in the gateway. 
Oops. Okay, so we're back on track again. I think probably looking at this, field number 18 or 17 is going to be the best one. So that's where we're going to head to. And I would expect the price to be about 15,000 or so, which is affordable. But obviously the trees are going to cost even more money. And some people will probably criticise me for doing this, first of all, doing the trees. But once they're there, they're going to continue to produce money. and Well, they're going to continue to produce fruit, which can then be converted into money, obviously. So I don't think it's a bad thing we're doing it now. So field 17, which I think is the smaller of the two, is just up here. It looks like a good field to do. And let's hope it's around 15,000. Even better than I anticipated. So 13,000 pounds, that's pretty good. We're going to go for that. And this is also not bad terrain either. If it was totally flat, that would be best for the mowing. But as it's a bit steep, obviously you can still mow this, but I'd rather put trees here. So let's go into the mod folder. And I'll try and find our fruit and berry mod, which shouldn't be too far. Most likely a placeable. Here we go. Uh, so we've got cherries, we've got plums, we've got oranges, and we have got strawberries. We then have a spring water pump, and then two cell points. One is for the apples, plums, and cherries, and the other one is for oranges, strawberries, and pears. I think everything here can be grown in the UK except for oranges. Although you might be able to do it in like a polytunnel or a big greenhouse, I'm not too sure. But we're going to do it anyway. So if I start with the cherry trees, we'll do that up here. Where are we? We're invisible. We'll put them here. Space them out a bit. And we might be able to get a government grant for doing this because obviously this is good for nature um, and also we're not plowing the land as we usually do so we might get a grant for it let's see if we can apply okay so we've been away almost an hour has passed and it turns out that we can have a small grant for doing this we have managed to boost our money up to 25,000 pounds which should buy us a few more trees obviously uh, it's not amazing, but it is a bit more, and we're trying to stay realistic here as well. So let's plant some different tree types as well, and see what we can do. Right, plum trees, they're a bit more expensive. This is going to be something we do over time, so we're not going to plant them all straight away. We need to stop when we hit roughly £10,000, because... Otherwise, we are going to be completely out of money. Okay. And oranges, I think we'll put on hold temporarily. We will get one of these strawberry houses because it looks intriguing. I am really intrigued by this. And we should probably put this down at this end of the field because it doesn't really want to be with the trees as we need access around it to put the manure and the water in so if it's roughly here that should be a good place for it and that is where we're going to have to stop because our money is getting too low so this is a strawberry house they look good but we're going to have to use this like we use the other greenhouses as well you have to put the fertilizer in you have to put the water in, spring water I think actually, from the pump. So, a lot of work to do here. It also appears we have an actual shop I think this is. I'm not too sure because it's in foreign. Um, but I think that you can actually sell all of your fruit here. Unless it's like the processing plant for them. I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, we, we've got that as well. And also, this is for spring water. And it says spring water and water exit. So is it like a manhole cover or a drain? I'm not too sure. Uh, but we've got this pump, which should be adequate to begin with. Uh, but again, that is quite expensive, but we are gonna have to have it. So I'll place that 
well, it has to be kind of accessible. Um, whoop, I might put it here. That's probably the best place to put it. So as we have got one greenhouse, which needs work, and a number of trees, I think we'll have to leave it at that. Now the best thing for me to do now is to go and get a water bowser, fill up the greenhouse from the spring water here. Now because we don't have any cows, that is a bit of an issue because obviously we're not producing any manure at all. So yeah, we're gonna have to concentrate on the animals as soon as possible. We do have the chickens, we've got 20 chickens. I think I accidentally said 10 last week, but yeah, we have 20. Uh, so they are not really too much help to us, but at least it is a, another income. So I'm gonna head back to the yard. We do have this lizard water bowser. Whether or not it's compatible with spring water, I'm not too sure, but we're gonna give it a go. Here it is. I think it does fit to the pickup. It should do, it's so small. Or maybe not. That's weird. I really thought it would do. I guess it's a different tow hitch. That could be the problem. Uh, so we're gonna drop off the pickup here. We'll have to get a tractor. Yeah, that is a shame, but it's not the end of the world. We could probably do with a small tractor as well, you know, like a really small old runabout for this kind of job. Yeah, that fits to it. Yeah, so that is weird. A tractor fits to a really small Bowser, but a pickup truck won't do. Hmm, maybe I just wasn't lined up properly. It's so small, you can barely even see it. Right, well here we are. Let's see if it accepts just standard water. Can't really see why it wouldn't do, but if it's set up to any except spring water. Okay, that is... Hmm. I think I've got something wrong here. It drained the tank. Did it put that into the greenhouse or did it put it into the pump? Hmm. No, I think it, I think it did go into the greenhouse. So that's okay. It thinks that the water we had was spring water anyway. So that is fine. Um... But it does need manure, and it does need more water than that, so... If we can do, I'll try and fill it up from this pump. But it might not let us. No. I wonder if you have to actually fill up that pump first of all, to be able to use it. I'm not sure. But it is registering spring water twice. So, there is obviously something here I'm not understanding properly. So I think the best thing for me to do here, although this is very uneconomical as this Bowser is so small uh, the best thing for me to do is to go and refill it and bring in another load to the greenhouse and see what it does then but I think that these different mods are really good for the game it adds such a difference to it uh, you can really diversify the farm and you know the standard base game you get just tree saplings, you can plant fully grown trees as well, uh, but you can't make your own orchard, which is a bit of a shame really. So having these mods is such an addition, it adds a, an awful lot to it. Anyway, let's refill this, it will be a bit expensive. Right, so that is full once again, back to field number 17 and this should be very beneficial to us even if I don't know where it's going to I'm sure it will come in handy 
best thing for me to do is just to unload this, let you watch the video, and if you've used the mod before, I'm sure you'll be able to give me some guidance. I hate to have to rely on people, but um, it, obviously if you've got experience with the mod, it'll be very helpful. So please do post below if you have any more information for me. The mod description was all in a different language, and it was quite hard to understand. I could translate it, which I, I think I have to do actually. Uh, but yeah, let's see if this accepts this load as well. Yep, it's going in. So, I'm sure it's helping, but I'm going to leave it there anyway. So, thank you for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Uh, it's certainly an addition to the farm, and we're going to hopefully expand this in the future. But yeah, if you've got any more details for me, that'd be really helpful. But until next time, thanks again, and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.